Today, guys, I have the best CSGO skins for under $30. This is for anybody just looking for some skins to spice up your inventory and really take it to the next level. By the way, guys, new videos every single Friday. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuber here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have a video on the best mid-tier CSGO skins in the game for under $30. And obviously, if you guys do want to get the skins for even cheaper, please consider checking out Skinport. I have an affiliate link in the description down below. And if you use my link, it directly supports the channel so I can continue to bring you guys the best content I can every single Friday. A lot of these skins are some of my favorite skins in CSGO, and obviously you can get all of them for under $30, so hey, hey that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Also, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, because if we do hit 1,500 likes in the first seven days, then I'm going to be giving away a skin, all right? Let's get it. But guys, real quick, before we get into it, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Yo, what's up, guys? Today's video was sponsored by CSGO Atsy. So if you guys are if you guys are 18 plus and you're looking for a place to bet CSGO skins, this is the place to go. So here's all the options to deposit, and then when it comes to withdrawing, you can withdraw a Bitcoin. Ethereum CSGO or Dota 2 skins and not gonna lie their withdraw section is low-key kind of stacked and then also the site has a leaderboard too so basically the more you bet the more you get also the site has sports betting uh, they have mega wheel which is roulette they have crash blackjack minesweeper tibia and dice jackpot and of course wheel of destiny obviously though you do have to be 18 plus and also on the site bet responsibly don't bet more than you can afford to lose so guys go to csgoatsy.com and use code turbomotionz or you can go to the discord and get the link there all right with that being said guys let's jump right into the pistols Starting off, we have the Glock Neo Noir field tested. Just overall, a really solid neon colored skin with a whammon on it. So for all you gamers out there, I got you. Next up, if you like a skin that has a nice whammon on it, but it doesn't have any neon colors, you can go with the Bullet Queen. And honestly, it all really depends on your inventory and personal preference. So just pick whatever skins you like. For the dualies, I had to pick the Cobra Strikes Minimal Wear because in my opinion, they look really cool because essentially they're just green. They have scales on them. And then there's little snakes as well, too. If you have a green themed inventory, these are the go-to dualies. However, if you don't have a green themed inventory, I still got you guys. We have the dual Beretta Duelist, which these are honestly really, really cool, mainly because of the handles, because it's made out of the exact same material as sapphire knives. Oh, and these go great with purple or blue gloves. Next up, we have the P250 Vino Primo. There's not really that much to say about the skin other than the fact that it just looks like it was made by Gucci, so you know it's a big flex. Next up is the P250 Sealator. And if you're into either robots, alligators, or the color green, this is the perfect skin for you. Moving on to the Tech 9, I chose the Tech 9 Decimator because Honestly, I think it's one of the best tech nines in the game for the price. I mean, mainly because I really like the look of neon colored skins, especially when they kind of fade together like this and they have a cool design. Overall, dude, the decimator is freaking awesome. All right, for the deagle, I went with the code red well-worn. So unfortunately, it's only well-worn, so it's not the best looking skin. But luckily for the code red, when you get it in battle scarred or well-worn, it just looks a little bit darker. So it doesn't look scratched up or anything. It doesn't look ugly. Overall, the code red in any condition looks amazing. Anyways, moving on to the CT side for the USPS, we chose the Neo Noir. And I don't really need to reiterate why this skin is so great. It's just, if you want to bust a nut, this is the skin for you. For the 5.7, we have the fairy tale. If you like anime or you like watching My Little Pony, this is the skin for you. <laughs> Next up for the CZ75, we have the Nitro Factory New. So this is a skin I don't really see too much just because, well, it is moderately expensive. And also if you don't get it in Factory New, it really doesn't look that good. But this is a, it's like a gunmetal slash orange skin and overall it looks awesome and even if you get a souvenir version the stickers can make it look pretty epic but if you're not really into the nitro then i have another skin for you the cz Jianglu factory new pretty much it's like a purple chinese snake guy on a skin and it's pretty epic oh also it's way more affordable than the nitro too ladies and gentlemen now it is time for the heavies for the Nova, I went with the Hyper Beast. It's just overall a really solid skin, and of course, it's the Hyper Beast, so it's a classic CSGO skin, and it has an amazing design with lots of colors. Next up, we have the XM1014 Ancient Lore. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the most expensive XMs in the game, but it is from one of the new collections. It's from the Ancient Collection, and honestly, you don't really see these too often, so they're definitely really unique. If you prefer more flashy skins, though, of course, you can always go with the XM1014 Tranquility. It's just another skin that really makes guys go, oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> 
For the sawed off, I went with the one and only the Devourer. Because of the variety of colors, you can make this work with almost any loadout, and honestly, it's one of the best sawed offs in the game. Next up, for all you MLG Atari gamers out there, we have the Nebula Crusader, which is actually based off of old school arcade games, specifically Galaga. Also, this is one of the cheapest skins in this video. For a cheap, heavy laser boy, we went with the Power Loader Factory New. The thing I like the most about this skin is the fact that it's yellow, and it's not afraid to be yellow. It's just yellow and in your face, and it also has a little bit of light blue too, which makes it even better. And for the last heavy, we have the Mag 7 Justice. And in my opinion, for the budget of under $30, this is one of the best Mag 7s in the game. It just looks so awesome with the blue and yellow contrasting, and it's so good. As a wise man once said, it's perfectly balanced as all things should be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the SMGs. Starting off, we have the MP9 Hydra Factory New. For the price, this is definitely one of the best looking MP9s. It's super clean, it's green, it has a Hydra on it. There's nothing to hate. All right, I know this is a little bit over $30, but I had to include the MP9 stained glass. And actually, if you do pick it up on Skinport, you can buy it for under $30. But this skin just looks phenomenal for the price, and it's just, it's so cool. For the MAC-10, we have the Stalker, which basically just looks like a Mr. Beast MAC-10, but essentially it's just yellow and blue, and overall it has a cool design. It has a little cat on it, and it's, uh, it's a pretty spicy. Next skin. If you're not really into the whole yellow and blue kind of look, then you can always Always go with the MAC-10 Discotech, which is one of the best looking pearlescent skins in the game. It basically just changes colors based on the lighting and based on where you're looking. It's definitely a really dank skin. Next up is the MP7 Fade Factory New, and obviously it all depends on the fade because some of these look better than others. The one that I have is actually a really, I don't know if it's a high fade or a low fade, but it has a lot of purple on it. But you can get some that have a ton of yellow, so it's all really down to personal preference. Next up, we have the UMP Primal Saber Factory New, which in my opinion is one of the best UMPs in the game because number one, it has a sick design, and number two, it has just the right amount of color for any inventory. For the P90, I chose the Asimov. Essentially the quintessential skin of CSGO, the Asimov. It's so simple, but it looks so nice. Orange, white, and black, that's all I have to say. You guys know the Asimov. Next skin. Now we have the PP Bison High Roller. For any of you gamblers out there, this is the perfect skin for you because there's poker chips, there's dice, there's cards, there's everything you'd ever want on a skin like this. Plus it's red. And if you're not really into the High Roller, if you prefer a more blue skin, we have the Judgment of Anubis, which is an Egyptian themed PP Bazone. And now for the rifles. Starting off with the Galil, we have the Sugar Rush, one of the coolest Galils in the game in my opinion because it's so colorful and it just looks so awesome. It's based on candy, but it also has that neon vibe. And for the AK-47, we have the Point Disarray, just a really nice geometrically pleasing skin that is both red and blue at the exact same time and it's, it's pretty good. However, if you're not about that geometry life, you can always go with the front side Misty. It's more on the blue side of things, but it's another fantastic skin for a really good price. For the Scout, of course, I had to go with my favorite Scout of all time, the Dragonfire. It's just nothing comes even close to this, and the fact that it's under $30 is amazing. Like literally, it's just a dragon shooting fire. Now we have the Krieg Colony 4. Just a really nice yellow themed Krieg with a red ant just chilling right there staring at you. Looks like something out of a fever dream, but you know what? It, it's, a, it's a cool design, I'm not going to lie. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Op Redline. Of course, you're not going to be able to get it with three Iba Power Hollows, but you can get one without the stickers. And I mean, you can, get, you can get some other red stickers and this thing looks fantastic. It's just carbon fiber with some red lines. If you're not really into the red line, you can always go with a Battle Scarred Wildfire. Of course, this one actually isn't Battle Scarred, so it'll look a lot worse than this. But the Wildfire is a fantastic skin. It just has a red dr fire dragon, of course, and it has a little bit of red and black. And it's just it's a great skin overall. All. Now we have the G3 SG1, the Executioner. This is a really old school skin and it's been in the game for a long time, but you see that right there? NACL got some here. Like it's it's overall a great skin. It has tons of Easter eggs. It has a couple different colors, of course, and it has like an old school kind of caveman design where it looks like it was drawn on like the side of a cave or whatever. For the FAMAS, I went with the Prime Conspiracy, one of the newer FAMASs in the game, but overall it's both pink and blue, which are colors that definitely look really cool. It overall has a really futuristic design, and of course the pink actually shines which definitely takes it to the next level 
For the M4A4, I went with one of the newest ones, of course, as well, the cybersecurity, because number one, it looks, I mean, it's really colorful, of course. It has blue, yellow, pink, and of course, white. There's some Chinese characters on it. There's a little bit of carbon fiber. And overall, not only is it new, but it also looks great too. Now we have the M4A1S Player 2. This is just overall a really great video game themed skin, obviously, that has Mega Man on it. And of course, it also says, I love skins, which is absolutely 100% true. And if you're not a big fan of the player 2, you can always go with the M4A1S Hyper Beast, which is, of course, a classic M4A1S skin. It's literally the Hyper Beast. It's been said a million times, and I'll say it again. I love the Hyper Beast. Now we have the Aug Momentum. It's just a really solid red and blue themed Aug with a bunch of arrows pointing towards the red barrel, of course, which represents all the momentum that you'll have using this bad boy right here. For the Scar 20, we have the Emerald. I mean, for a skin that you're literally never going to use, it's green. Yep. And finally, if you're not a big fan of the Emerald, you can always use the Cyrex, which in my opinion is a lot more clean and it also has more colors too. It's literally white, black, and red, and it just overall looks pretty solid, but it's the Scar 20, so you're realistically probably not going to use it. So I don't know why I'm even putting it on here. But overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments down below what budget of themed inventory do you guys want to see next time? Because maybe we could do $50, we could do $100, maybe we'll even do $10. I don't know. Also, make sure to drop a like because if we do hit 1500 likes within the first seven days, then we'll be doing a giveaway of just a random skin in my inventory next week. And uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a new segment on the channel where at the end of the videos, I'm going to be responding to a couple of your comments. So leave some questions, leave some jokes, or just leave some insightful comments. Like leave any kind of comment you want, and I'm going to respond to a couple of them at the end of my next video. So I just want to interact with you guys as much as possible because I really do like talking to you guys all day on discord and on twitch but overall guys thank you so much for watching stay safe have a fantastic rest of your day it's turbo and i'm out peace